Divine Masculine. Hello, welcome to Blue Plan Integration. My name is Lisa. Um, and welcome, Cross Watchers, Divine Feminine. You're always welcome here. I pulled out the Divine Masculine spread, and um, interesting enough, they got some of the same cards we did. Spirit told me to shuffle the deck real well, which I did. Um, I pulled Oracle cards from uh, the Wisdom Oracle. And funny, but they got some of the same cards that we did. Interesting. We're kind of a mirroring each other. I only pulled out six, and then, um, well, seven, eight, the bottom of the deck, and another one flew out, which was the wishing card with the four cups up there. They're thinking heavy right now. I don't know what situation they're in. Some could be in a third party situation. And they're doing some remembering and wishing that they might not have got into a situation that they did because now they're kind of stuck. But they're thinking, heavily thinking. They had the risk card just like the Divine Feminine did. They took a risk with somebody or something. That, you know. And then what clarified that was the Six of Pentacles which is that equal give and take. I'm using the Illuminati deck with them. They want that equal give and take. They took a risk with something or somebody that they thought um, would bring them fulfillment. Pentacles are all about money. It could have been with a job or it could have been in a relationship. And what they got was chaos. What they got was a whole lot of chaos. Now they're trying to balance themselves out. They're trying to balance the whole situation out because what they did was create a whole shit ton of um, bad karma that they're trying to balance out right now. I think they know this because they also got the high priestess of spirit, just like we got. The high priestess of spirit talks about um, your higher self. It talks about getting downloads. It talks about um, allowing spirit to work on their behalf what clarified that was the two of cups the soulmate card go figure they're thinking about stuff maybe things that they screwed up in their life maybe possibly with you divine feminine divine masculine i think they're tired of this fuckery too and what they're realizing coming in with this high priestess of spirit is their vision is getting clearer. That at one time, when they took this risk and it caused chaos, it opened their eyes. And they have the page of wands. Very well could have figured out with the third party situation that they might have been wishing was going to actually work out. They're hoping somebody reaches out or they're considering reaching out and telling somebody about the stuff that they're feeling, thinking, hearing. Um, they very well could be dreaming as well. Spirit could be giving them downloads now, guys. Divine Masculine, are you getting downloads? Are you um, understanding what's going on within your um, connections with people? One of the other cards then that came out after that was self-worth. If I'm masculine, you're figuring out your self-worth. You're figuring out what you deserve. I think you're going to, here's the Prince of Swords, come rushing in with a message. And or you see Divine Feminine as well, have figured her divinity out. And you're like, how'd she do that? She actually cares about herself now. They could be getting real clear on um, what they need to change for the whole situation to turn around. They also have helpers here, guys. They do. Because the High Priestess of Fire and the High Priestess of Water came out. The High Priestess of Fire is pas um, tapping into their passionate um, and creative side. And the High Priestess of Water is tapping into the transformative side. Water transforms things. 
so they're realizing that these this passion and um, being unemotionally available which you had the four of cups up there sitting there thinking how can I get out of this spirits coming in and showing them and or showing you divine masculine where you've been unemotionally available might have been in um, the realm of equal give and take with this taking a risk and then you have the four of pentacles here where your heart was closed off you weren't listening to your higher self spirit was trying to give you downloads here make sure that you're listening to your intuition and what came out with the high priestess of water well the high I think you realize that your creative side got cut off you're trying to figure out how you're going to um, move forward and transform and why I say that here's the six of swords that's that moving into calmer waters and the last part out was this invisible you might you might be going into hiding just to listen and I really feel that divine masculines you're making yourself invisible right now you very well could have been doing this in the past month or two because somebody has been left out in the cold you might not want to be dealing with um, You very well could be dealing with some depression and stuff too. Maybe a soulmate or um, your self worth wasn't where it needed to be. I think it's some of this programming is getting cut out. You're seeing where you've been programmed, Divine Masculine, and where you need to break forth in creativity and expression and how to transform that moving into calmer waters and you realize that you needed to kind of shelter yourself and become in invisible for a while but you had to leave people out and there's a six of cups you very well could be reevaluating the connection with somebody this is the nostalgia card this very well could be um, your connection with your divine feminine very well could be a connection with somebody else you're dealing with and at the bottom of both of those decks were message and the queen of wands this is the karmic underneath that was the eight of wands you might be um, trying to figure out whether or not divine feminine is who she says she is and knows her self-worth now because at one point you guys connected up you and your divine feminine and there was equal give and take and then chaos came in I don't know if it was fear fear based about a soulmate situation because I think not just divine feminine's life turned chaos divine masculine's did as well because you were mirrors the spirit's coming in to give you a message about passion. And or you could be considering messaging your divine feminine. I've been getting this a lot. Whoever your divine partner is, you're figuring it out. I'm going to clarify with um, kitty cat jack here. Spirit. Um, thank you. The risk with the six of pentacles, with the nine of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you, Divine Masculine, have felt like it was better off just to be single. Um, you felt like you were better off just to um, do everything on your own. You didn't want to settle down here as far as um, just be a one person guy. You wanted to um, explore and when you moved away from an equal give and take connection you found a lot of chaos now you're looking for balance you thought that you could balance stuff out because I felt I really feel like the connection with divine feminine might have been too much and somebody ran 
there's a nine of swords, but the you're trying to figure out this. The nine of swords is that sitting up late at night, worrying. It's the insomnia card. And you're trying to figure out how to balance it. I feel like you were at a really good place at one point. And then chaos hit. Kind of trying to get your ass, get yourself off your ass. Get yourself off your ass and you're wishing and you're like, what did I do wrong to deserve this? Well, the high priestess in the two of cups is here. I think you're real realizing divine masculine that. Um, who your divine feminine really is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now you have the ace of pentacles. The two of cups with the high priestess. The spirit's giving you the ace to start something new. Start something over. That's going to be... Spirit's just going to give it to you. and So that you have a vision for the future. Something stable, something sturdy. Like I said, here's a message. You need to get your passion back, Divine Masculine. If you lost yourself because of self-worth and doing inner work, yeah. Can't be with the Divine Feminine when you're like that. Alright, why is the vision card here? Yeah, haha. -ha. Yeah, the vision with the Five of Swords. Inner and outer turmoil. You very well could be dreaming. Closing cycles, karmic loops. Spirit could be giving you fiery messages at night when you're sleeping. You could be having visions and daydreaming about what if I do try and reach out? Is there going to be a bunch of chaos? You're worried about that. You're worried about inner and outer conflict. Because there was a mess that was created out of all of this. Self-worth and the Prince of Swords. It's this message. Oh, look at that. The Emperor. Like I said, self-worth and the Prince of Swords. Spirit showing the Emperor is the Empress's uh, counterpart. This is Divine Masculine. I'm going to pull more cards on that. But I'm going to try and get through this here quick. Alright, what is this uh, Spirit of Fire, Spirit of Water with the passionate and transformative energy that is coming in with the Four of Pentacles. You look kind of like I'm just holding on to what I got because moving forward might be a little bit um, scary for you. Give me a few cards on you, Spirit. There's... Thank you for this view. Yeah, you're not sure. With the moon... You're feeling like someone was holding secrets. You're feeling like... Um, the hangman. It's also the card of Pisces. Both of the moon, Cancer, Pisces, yeah. I'm just kind of hanging there dangling like, um, stuck. If you remove this pentacle off of your crown chakra, you will, um, be much better. Yeah, your Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. And then the Nine of Cups. Like I said, here's a Wish card. With the Six of Swords. You're hoping to get yourself out of this. Because I feel like your finances might have really took a hit. Um, someone might have stole from you. You're hoping to get justice here in this situation. What's this Invisible card? You might be feeling very invisible to people right now. Karma could have very well left you out in the cold. <clears throat> oh, and your thought maybe was a soulmate at one point. Six of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. Why are they here, Spirit? With the invisible card. Divine Masculine go into hiding. Are they, um, doing some Dark Knight of the Soul shit. Like, confusion. Let's see cards on that. Like that the well two came out yeah huh into this soon all right they have the world card there's those cycles 
Divine Masculine, you very well could be a fixed element. You could be a Taurus. A Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aquarius, wondering. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles here. You're realizing your self-worth, though. You're realizing you deserve more than what a karmic could offer you. And you're trying to figure out how to close cycles. Becoming invisible. You might have just closed yourself off from the world at this point. <clears throat> you might be telling a lot of people that you're just done. Going around the mountain. You're tired of being left out in the cold. I want to know what this wishing in the four cups is up there. What are they wishing for? Why is the four cups there? Oh, you're hoping the conflict, you want the conflict all to end. The five of swords is right here. I, you might be getting vision on why somebody was being such a douche. Or maybe you were being a douche to people. Spirit might be coming and give you a message about that. You had the five of swords here. But yeah, spirit's coming in to show you where you went wrong. This is all inner and outer conflict. I apologize. This is the Five of Swords. This is the Five of Wands. You don't want no more conflict. Whether it be with Divine Feminine. Whether it be with any karmics. Like, you're over the, the drama. I feel. Okay. Queen of Wands with the message. With the Sun in reverse. You're not very happy right now. Things have fell apart, I see. And you're waiting for a message from somebody about moving forward. Very well could be a Queen of Wands. And look, you have this with the Eight of Wands underneath it, with the King of Cups and the Chariot, how to move forward. Alchemizing stuff. You don't feel, you know you didn't get your wish fulfillment with some stuff, Divine Masculine. You're waiting for a message from, from Source. You're re I think you're really realizing where your power lies, and it's not in third-party situations, and it's not putting people in third-party situations that cause chaos, that people need to eventually balance out. You're getting real clear on where you went wrong in the past, and I think that you're coming and you're realizing your self-worth at this point. And you need to tap into that spirit of fire and spirit of water, which is that passionate, transformative energy. So that you can get unstuck if you're stuck on somebody. Because here's the Emperor. Know your self-worth. Spirit's coming in to give you messages, Divine Masculine, of what you need to do. And it might not be what you want to hear in the midst of all this chaos. It might not be what you want to hear. And... It might not make you very happy. There might be some behavior issues that you might have to um, transform and come out of. And you might not want to hear that. But trust me, these cycles need to end. And if you think Divine Feminine is going to um, come rushing in and help you, you're wrong. Dead wrong. This is something that you need to do. For you. If you want to reach out to Divine Feminine and apologize, they suggest that you do. They've been patiently waiting, I know that. That's all I have for Divine Masculine right now, guys. They very well could be coming in with a message. Like I said, they could be waiting to hear... Spirit speaking to them through dreams, through visions, just getting downloads. And they're about to move. I feel like they're about to move forward. Even though they feel stuck right now. They, they know they're the emperor. They know they're the shit. 
the spirit's going to give them a message, and it very well could be humbling to them about how much of an asshole they were. No offense, Divine Masculine, but some of you were assholes. <laughs> no offense. Some of you thought your shit didn't stink. You took a risk on somebody that was not worth it, and it ended up in chaos. That's a lesson that you need to learn to appreciate what you got, and I think that that's what you're doing. Um, you're realizing where your passion really came from, and it was from Source. It was from God. And the connection that you have with Divine Feminine. So, either way, I love you guys. You guys take care. Um, if you need a reading, you can email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. I love you guys. You guys take care for the rest of July. That's what's going on. Um, I love you. Bye.